I mean, needless to say, I'm probably a little bit closer than I'm supposed to be to the environment, but not nearly as close as I used to be. So as far as inspiration, it kind of, to me, feels like an alcoholic, okay? If you were an alcoholic for 20 years and you quit and you stay away for 10 or 15, you still remember what it's like to be drunk. You know what I mean? Every day you still know what it, what, what it, you remember the taste, you remember the, the good, the bad, the ups, the downs of it all. So you can, you can still paint a vivid picture. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way I can, that's how I consider my, my connection to that world. I think the only thing that dulls the senses is trying to make music that is intentionally broader than it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? If, if I go in the studio and I try to make blurred lines, or if I try to make whatever you like, or like that is what dulls the senses, you know what I mean? And us as artists, you know, once you get one of those hits, you know, it's, a, it's, it's, human, it's, it's human nature to try to recreate it for, and, and assume the same or greater results from it. So of course, we've all done it. Uh, the question is, how well can you reform? Young Jeezy, Young Jeezy, Dolph, Yo Gotti, Dobie. Forgot about Dobie. Just, I mean, I think that he don't, he doesn't, he never, he doesn't get enough credit. I guess because you know his career never got a chance to take off, but he was definitely one of the coldest to, to come up. Young Dro, okay. Young Dro, you believe Dro is in all kinds of just felonious capers. You know what I'm saying, Dro? Dro is definitely of the environment. <laughs> Meat Mills. And although he's not from Atlanta, I still see him as that, that, that kind of, that's where he comes from. That's his life, that's his life and lifestyle. Uh, I mean, I think, you know, there's a, there's a collective, you know what I'm saying? There's a collective, there's a few, there's a few cats, man, that you kind of like, you just kind of know. You know, you can close your eyes and listen to what's being said and know it's real. You know what I mean? Man, I have a personal opinion. I mean, I feel like it's, it's hypocrisy. I do, you know. But at the same time, I understand that those are just simply things in this particular day and time that are not as important as they once were. And, you know, for me, I can hold on to it internally, but I can't, I can't really publicly exercise a true disdain for it because I'd be a lone voice in a crowded room. I alienate myself, you know what I mean? So I just keep my opinions to myself, do what I do, wish everybody the best and keep it pushing.